Well, I was, yeah. Jim Sunder was here for my swing. I really had, I got into that yesterday, we were talking about the the death of the God. You know, um, we, and Diane was talking after Diane and I were talking afterwards. It's so true that he, all these all these plagues that came on every time there was a plague came on after just a couple of days, man, they recanted, they repented, and said, "Oh man, uh, get us out of here." And they did it for ten times or nine times, and then the tenth time we're going to talk about now. But but we were talking about how. How even America, you know, when we've gone through so much stress and distress over the years of, uh, of us being here as, as a country, that the wars and the different times we had to depend upon God and our churches would fill up as we would say, oh God, the, this the potential of the war, or, or even 9-11, when, when our towers were hit um, and the airplanes came into those towers and killed so many people, and we felt like, man, we may be in war at any time, and our, now they've invaded our land. They've actually brought this thing to our land. Man, the church is filled up, and we began to cry out to God and said, oh God, please help us. We need you. We are all that we have, you know, and, and it's so amazing. I that that then when you turn to the Lord, it's not very long till when the crisis gets over, and the, the darkness is gone, the fleas are gone, the frogs are gone, the Nile's back to the water. Um, th then we forget. It's it's easy to do. It's very easy to do. But you see, you have to understand. Look. God loves us so much. He's not going to let these other gods. He's going to take, get them out. He's going to expose them as for what they are. When, when we, when, I, I remember. Uh, I mean, I just made a list of, of different gods that we serve. Us, of course, is a fame, power, relationship, mm -hmm. our strength. And can you imagine the power of your strength? I saw some movie stars the other day that that were fighters and man, they were tough, and now they're really up in age and they've lost their strength a little bit you know and they've lost their looks and and i thought to myself man if they were serving that that let them down pretty heavy how about education our, our brilliance our, our looks our, our prestige the gifts of that we have the, the ecology the, the world we live in we start you know what it can all let us down so 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 quickly our security can be ripped out from under us as we've talked before uh, Jim Carrey, and I, I, I read this as an article, but he said, he said, I wish everyone could um, have all the wealth they ever wanted, all the power they ever wanted, all the prestige they ever wanted, all the money that they could ever spend. He said, I wish they could all get that, because he said, they would realize it doesn't satisfy and doesn't give them real security. Well, that's, that's what God says. He said, I don't want you to serve in other gods that can't bring you right into eternity. What God can we serve? What thing on this earth can we give our lives to that will take us into and through eternity? The only one is Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the one who conquered everything, taught us how to serve, taught us how to give, taught us how to seek his Father for wisdom, found favor with man and God, and humbled himself. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God, who took upon himself the form of a servant, being fashioned as a man, he humbled himself humbled himself to the will of God, to even the death of the cross, so that you and I might find life. And our life is in, the t is in surrender. Now look, we're going to find God either through surrender, in the joy of surrender, or their hands raised up to surrender, or we'll find God through suffering. There's, there's one way or the other that we'll find him. And, and Pharaoh found out who God was because through his suffering, he realized that the God of this universe was uh, greater than any God he can serve himself or anything else because it's under the under everything under the sun is under God's power and you know, there's nothing greater than the power that's above the, the sun above the skies and God loves us so much anyway so it's a it's a wonderful thing to think now in chapter 12 as we will get into and we're getting ready to get into something that's really exciting talking about where now the Lord speaks speaks to Moses and Aaron in the land and this month this month is going to be the beginning of your year because I'm going to get you out of here. And Pharaoh said, now after the death of all of all the, the children, he's getting ready to go. But now the, before the Passover, before this comes, uh, God's going to speak to Moses how to be prepared for the death that's coming to Egypt. And we need to be prepared. We need to, we're none of us going to get out of here alive <laughs> unless we have the rapture. But, and so we need to be prepared. 
because God was teaching that, that there is life and teaching about life, teaching about uh, how to, t to deal with death and uh, how to deal with purpose. And so we're going to be talking about that. We're going to talk about what God, how he got them prepared for the death angel that's coming to Egypt. And that's chapter 12. You want to read ahead? Go ahead. It'd be kind of exciting. Well, I'm over. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.